what are we doing coming to in the bloody church? Why are we in the church? the church. Wait. Why is our map not working? Where's all of our equipment? Are we sleeping? doors. That sound, I hear that sound every now and then. Somebody's here moving through the crawl spaces. there why is there a cross in the crapper big on a door there. Eight. Vandals. That needs to be reported. Where's my radio? That's pretty good. The vandals only showed up to vandalize the men's bathroom. I'm surprised they didn't vandalize anything else on the way in here. Where are we? Okay, this will take us to the ballroom. Which means we can go up this way to the overlook, I think. Wait. Oh, look. Yeah. Not the overlook, but it goes where we want to go. God, those doors. our radio where's our stuff at where's this management key
Oh, there's our inventory. Why is our inventory? Let's take it. Irving? Merry Christmas, Nikki. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it's a little late for holiday greetings, but I expected that. What? Well, I, I thought you were calling to... Hey, is everything okay? Yes. No. I mean, I, I don't think so. We're no. sleepwalking. What no. happened? I think I sleepwalked. Like in the old Laurel and Hardy movies? I'm serious. I, I woke up in church standing in front of the lectern. Wow. Does that happen a lot? No. Uh, one doesn't just become a sleepwalker from one day to the next. It used to happen when I lived here. Oh, no. One time in February, I ended up outside. But no parent leaves the doors unlocked if their kid sleepwalks. I never told anyone. Um, sleepwalking episodes are common in children. That's not the point. I forgot all about it. Then I come back here and it happens again. If I ended up in that church, maybe there's a reason. Sometimes following your instinct is the best thing. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, uh, Irving? Yeah? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Nikki. I think he was going to say that no matter what I chose. So I guess we're going back to the church. I have to go back to the church. Don't want, don't want really, but my sleep. Why is the church bells ringing now? Are you freaking shitting me? Dude, somebody's playing with our freaking head. Unless daddy is selfish and is trying to drive us freaking nuts so we stay here with him. Hi. Uh, I was thinking, there really could be a repressed reason as to why you ended up there. So you've come to the conclusion that I'm not crazy? Never thought that. Well, at least not in this case. Oh, fuck oh, off. Hey, language, Sister Nicole. All right, all right. So, if I think about the church, I think about my mother. She often helped Reverend Foster. She decorated for holidays, did fundraising, and put up booths to involve the whole community in parish activities. You know, that kind of stuff. I know what you mean. I think she found gratification in doing that, something she didn't get elsewhere, including the hotel. When we moved to Portland, she quit. Fundraising? God. I gather you didn't exactly have a high opinion of your mother when you were a kid. Well, she was really busy with the hotel. I was always running after Leonard. He was much more fun than she was, no doubt about it. He was a philosopher capable of calculating the motion of celestial bodies while taking apart and refitting a motorcycle in less than half an hour. What about her? In the same half hour, she could have audited a business balance sheet. There you go. Ah, a businesswoman. Hmm, no. What I understood later, living in such proximity to her, is that Mom loved feeling needed. A religious community like ours makes you feel needed, without a doubt. I suppose. Is she the reason why there's a church attached? Because honestly, if this is a holiday, you're, you're coming here to get away from life. Church is part of your everyday life, so I don't I really don't see why there's a church attached to this hotel. I it's it's a, I don't know. It's it's a mixed. It just it just seems kind of weird there's a church attached. Nikki? 
When there was a party, my mother always got out the usual streamers and decorations and stuff. She raced in and out of the church, but I never discovered where she kept all those things. Never asked? Oh, a million times. She didn't want to answer. She said they were in a safe place. A real mystery. <laughs> what kind of decorations could they have possibly been? Nothing explosive. It's just that I had the bad habit of sneaking all over the place and forgetting what time it was. There was that huge lady, the uh, assistant cook, Mrs. Bryce. She used to get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> A judicious girl. They promised to reveal the secret storeroom when I got older, but I must have forgotten. The mystery of the secret storeroom. Ooh, sounds good. The riddle! What are you talking about? Leonard was never good at keeping secrets. But he taught me a riddle to get there. Can you remember it? <laughs> Incredible. Yes. Oh, something like... Down the stairs, watch your step. Don't fall apart or it's your end. Round a corner, turn around. There's your way in front of you. All that's closed can be open to if you see beyond its looks. But how can I remember it? How... it's... I... I... Wow. A total mystery. Wanna play? Uh, I... yes. I need to think about it. I have no idea what it means. I'll, I'll call you if anything comes to mind. What? What kind of riddle was that? That's not even a riddle. That's a mix of... She must be remembering bits and pieces of it. If I solve the riddle, I could finally find the old storeroom. Well, down the stairs. Let's get out of the church. What? What'd you find? The paintings of the saints. I was convinced Leonard had gotten rid of them. Why? He liked saying that it was more likely to find God in a supernova than in a church. I don't see what he had in common with the Reverend Solomon Foster. They mostly talked for long stretches in between chess moves up in the attic. United by pawns and bishops, but divided by the saints. <laughs> divided by everything else, I'd say. Oh. Are we going to play the organ? You want to play the organ in a church in the middle of the night? Really? No. Hey, what are you doing there? Dunno. I think you stayed on the line. Didn't notice. I'm a Phantom of the Opera fan. It's been years since anyone played it. My mother's heart would break to see it like this. She adored it. Uh, you should take it with you. To what? play it. In Portland. Oh. I couldn't play even if I wanted to. I never learned. I don't think playing the organ is a crucial thing these days. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell that to my mom. Essential part of a woman's education, I must admit. Oh, poor mom. She had a daughter that would rather dig for gold at Hunter's Gudge till the cows came home. I can totally picture you. Uh-huh. Then, there was Rachel, who reminded me how useless I was in music. Look how good Rachel is. Look how she puts her mind to it. She doesn't know how to read, but she's got a real ear for it. While I was considered the illiterate artist in the house, if Rachel had been around, she would have improvised Beethoven's Ninth. Was she so perfect? Yes. I'm only just now realizing how jealous I was. Keep looking. Aw. Uh. <sighs> Rachel really had a lot to do with your guys' family. Your mom started comparing you to her. Your dad had an affair with her. Things are kind of jumbled and not adding up. Uh, 
in the world? There's a glowing... Yeah, I thought this looked a little... Suspect. Sus. Sus? Oh, shit. Let's get out our little... Flashy light. Come on, get in there. Interesting that a glowing butterfly appeared to show us. That's snow. Are we outside now? What about the thickness of a wall? You know. Huh. The hidden storeroom, I guess. Oh. What the hell? Is this where... Rachel was pregnant. Oh, shit. So, found the mystery decorations? Uh, no, no. No decorations. Is everything okay? I found something. What? I... It's like someone built some kind of bedroom. Irving, you there? Uh, uh, of course, yeah. Uh, what bedroom? T tell me what you see. Okay. I... Uh, there's some windows. Drawn on the walls. Books. Sheet music. A pink bed. It's... Like a kid's room. No way. This place doesn't make sense. No one would live down here. Nicole, Nikki, I think you should get out of there now. Oh, wait, 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 there's gotta be an explanation. Okay, that's it. Uh, now I'm calling the head office in Billings. I'm telling them it's a code red emergency, so they'll have to- Jesus Christ, Irving. Why didn't you what? do that before? This is all Rachel's stuff. Understand? It's her room, a, a, a replica. Uh, you don't know that. Y you can't know what her room looked like. Everything here reminds me of her. Let me look around. Even the I'm sure I'll find an explanation. But my other hand's on the red phone. Keep it there, but don't make the call. I need to figure out what's going on here. I want to know why you didn't send somebody up here already. We've been up here for five freaking days. The weather is cleared. Red from The music box. Can you hear me? Yes. We have to call someone. You have to get out of there right now. No. I found a key. It's from my old music box. The one in Leonard's room. I'm having a hard time following. If everything in here is Rachel's, then why is my music box's key here? I don't know and I don't want to know. Tell you what I think? Someone could have been in your room. It doesn't matter. What? How can you be so calm? If someone was in there, he's not here now. I need to grab the chance to figure out what the hell is going on, or went on, here. What is this? It's a pill yes. container. Cole, listen. I already know what you're gonna say, but please trust me. Get out of there. Retainer? No way. You do realize you found the replica of a dead girl's bedroom. This is sick. This is a... a the a... more things get freaky, bizarre, and painful, the more I need to figure out why. Why all of this... We'll figure it out with the sheriff. Once you're out of there, into a safe hotel room in town. Please, just... Listen. That's a true. A bunch of strange things happened since I got here. Think about it. Phone calls on a deadline. Old lipsticks that don't go bad. Leonard's notes where he says he saw a girl that's supposedly been dead for ten years, and now this! All good reasons to get out of there. We both agree that saving your skin is top priority, right? 
I've looked over every inch of this place, and there's no one. If it's true... Um, we weren't up in the attic. Realize what that means. What? What are you trying to tell me? Your father... He spent years in there, in total solitude. With the weight of his family and Rachel in his conscience, he, he wasn't the kind of guy to just let the past slide with a shrug. You know that too. I can't believe you said something like that. Think about it. That room could be an act of love. Distorted, even morbid, but in his eyes... How dare you? My... My father might have had a lot of weaknesses, but surely what you're saying... Leave out that he cheated on my mom. Leave out that he fell in love with a 16-year-old, but f fucking hell, don't you dare even think that. I... He would never have built a fucking underground shrine for a dead person. Your father had changed in the end. You didn't spend time with him, but I met him, and... I'm telling you. No! I don't give a shit about what you have to say. I just want you to know that... If you don't want to help discover the truth, don't call me. Wow. Yeah, I found belongs to the music box in Leonard's room. I'm going to have to open it. Open it, open it. Asshole. How dare you? You don't know shit. You don't know fuck. Finally, a bit of peace and quiet. She is He'll very... help me clear my head without those incessant phone calls. I'm not a fucking switchboard, for fuck's sake. Okay, let me piece things together. Jeez, Nicole. I just found out there's a room dedicated to Rachel Foster in my father's hotel. Maybe with items from her real room. Holy Jesus, that's freaky. Some people think she didn't commit suicide, and some even think she's still alive. Maybe if I think through my steps, I can work something out. First thing, the phone call. They said Rachel isn't dead. Then, the lipstick from ten years ago turns up still good. And then, my father's various notes where he says he still sees her. If that were true, it might explain the sighting by her friend here in the Timberline. And now I find her retainer box, but no retainer. That room might not be a reconstruction. If Rachel didn't kill herself, Rachel could have lived here. But if she's still alive, why doesn't she tell her parents? Unless they're all in cahoots. No suicide, no Timberline money. No, 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 I'm just being paranoid. And then there'd be no reason for her to live in a fucking underground replica of her room. My key in the middle of Rachel's stuff, is it a message? Where do I fit in? Are you trying to tell me something, Dad? It's the first time you've called My him Dad. My music box with the hockey player. I don't think I have the guts to hear that tune again. But I must. Hmm. And what about the corner? There was a corner report, so that means the corner would have to be in on it. I don't want to go down there and see where that goes, but... Yeah, we're hearing stuff. I think we're going nuts. this point. Wait, did I leave this door open? Huh? 
Don't tell me the music box is going to be missing. Interesting music box. It's not exactly one that you can close. Oh. Ah. So that... Where's the mechanics to make it work? The 27th of December, 1983. The hockey finals at Missoula. Us against Cold Springs High. We won by sudden death after a three-hour game, and I got the medal for the most number of face-offs won. According to the papers, that was the night Rachel killed herself. Coming home, Mom barely had the time to pull into the garage that I was already racing up to you, waving the medal in your face, Daddy. I was so happy. But you had other things on your mind, right? And you and Mom started fighting. The voices getting louder. That long silence when she comes down the stairs with the suitcases and Mrs. Bryce tries to stop her. Mom's car stays here, and we leave with my Uncle John's. I never found out what started that fight. Mom never wanted to talk about it. Are you trying to, Daddy? We've gone from Leonard to Daddy in a very short while. Irving. Finally. I'm okay. I was dying on this chair. You're right. That room freaked me out. So, I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of this story, then it's got to be behind the locked door on the last floor, in the attic. That wing has been condemned for years. I know. I'll be careful. Okay. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Maybe it's my father. No, no, no. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there, and if he did, there must be a reason. It... it all sounds insane. The night Rachel died. Maybe I have to start from there. I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? Mm. You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. What? I'd better take a look before moving on. Wait a moment. I still want in 217. All right, down to the mezzanine. Okay, so this is the mezzanine here. Where's the store? Oh, right here. Yeah, there is somebody here because I hear that. Oh, frick you, mannequins.
Mira. Yeah. Oh, guys. Yeah, that's the uh, phasmophobia mannequin, isn't it? Only it's got a little extra there in the top. What the hell? Baby with child. Baby with child. Mom with child. Apparently in the belly. And somebody going... Your hockey stick. Irving? Hello? Well, now you're not Can you hear there. me? I'm on the mezzanine, and it's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. There's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? That's my stick! If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I... I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed? Was it you? But why my hockey stick? Hello? Hello? Oh god, why isn't he answering? Did you kill Rachel? Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal if you can hear me. You're it's time to hockey. make that phone call. Right? Why is there one mannequin different? And nobody's watching. Everybody's watching, looking this way. While behind their backs, perhaps a murder was going on. Everybody, and this one person is different. Everybody is painted. What the hell was that? Where are you, Nicole? <sighs> it's about time. Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? Uh, what? Are you... are you drunk? Keep going. Hello? Hello, Irving? Is Irving the one on the phone? That's right below us. Is Irving driving us insane? Who rung that bell? Who wrong? The spell. And we can look at this rose now. It wouldn't let us. Or did it let us? What's in 217? How many doors have you opened? I haven't opened 217. Second floor sealed door. I don't know what's behind the second floor sealed door. I need a lock cutter or a key for the padlock. And I need to go check out Those hidden. What's behind? What's down all those hidden areas that he said don't go and look? Is he hiding? Is he here? I don't trust Irving.
221. I used to live at a 221. Two fifteen, two fourteen, two thirteen, two twelve, and that goes down. No, sorry, I went the wrong way, didn't I? We still haven't been able to get into there. Oh, why is this? There's freaking somebody here. Come on. <laughs> 